Hello everyone, welcome to the Mifratech YouTube channel. Today we are going to explain another new project called Pharmacy Management System. In this project system that organizes and manages the drug use process in pharmacies by storing data and enabling functionalities. Main aim of the project is the management of a database of the pharmaceutical shop. This is done by creating a database of a variable medicines in the shop. The database is then connected to the main program by using the interconnection of the uh, exam control panel by using an SQL command and it is purely developed with the PHP and MySQL and JavaScript. Software can print invoices, bills, receipts, etc. And here some of the benefits of this project. Avoid tedious typing task, faster document retrieval, saving storage space, uh, keeps uh, data secure, easy to use and update and maintain. We can easily update it and how many, how much stock is there and what is the selling price and what was the discount etc now let's see how project will work and what are the specification is required before we starting a project make sure the exam control panel is installed in your computer exam control panel will work as a server side to test a project and to create a database by before we starting a project uh, we have to do some operations like the project folder must be copied to the exam HD docs folder. Let's do that. Yes, now you are seeing my project folder here. I will copy the project folder pharmacy management system and I will paste it to a exam HP docs when you are installing the exam path has been created there HD docs folder has been created you want to paste it there here the HD docs folder I have used a local disk exam HD docs paste now As now you can see the folder, the project folder has been pasted, pharmacy management system. Now come back to the exam control panel. Now you have to start a module, two module because we have used the PHP and MySQL for creating a database, the administration page and for working as a server. I will start a two module Apache and MySQL. When I am starting the PIDs and the port, the server port will open. After starting, you have seen here an admin button for an administration page. Click on MySQL admin button. Admin button, you have been redirected to an administration page called localhost php my admin where you have to create a database here. Go to the databases and you can see here a create database and database name. The database name must should be given as the project folder database name what you have when you are do, do, developing a project you have given the you have created a database file the same name file must be entered here now you have to create pharmacy as my database name create now you are seeing in an empty list here they are asking a create table because we have created a database now i will import directly import choose file 
same where we have copied the file name where we have pasted the project folder there we have to select a path pharmacy management system and the database file name is pharmacy open scroll down you can see a go button here click on that yes now you can see the queries has been imported successfully now open a new tab we have connected to a server the server name is localhost slash pharmacy management system what the project folder name enter to that now i have seen an index page here there is a no registration page because pharmacy management system is developed to a single pharmacy now you have you should have to see a username and a password so come back to localhost php my admin click on structure here you have seen an in number of tables here you click on a users who is the user as here there is an a one user username and password you can modify with the sql command you can create a new user by giving an sql command with an a before importing i will log in yes now you can see a pharmacy management system home page here you can see a time cell year barcode scan year enter a medicine name available quantity and a sales and a medicine out of stock products which are products are here here you can see a several number of a products and a sales report what are the sales generated today and you can see many thing home and total no sale available today let's make a one sale i will enter a name yes here sell here i don't know a barcode scanner i will enter a medicine name okay somebody came and somebody asked for the paracetamol here enter and the quantity available quantity here you can see what is the available quantity is we have been displayed i will add a one quantity add yes now you can see a paracetamol which category is that expiry date a price and a quantity i've had in one product now let's submit let's see paid amount what is what was the paid amount i will enter a 2000 big note submit now you can see a bill the invoice you can see here here you can see a invoice number and a price the paid amount was 2000 you want to return a change of 1500 and let's this was the invoice number and this how will work let's make a new cell what are the another options is there let's see submit and make a new cell yes if i submitted let's check it in the sales report what happened sales report yes here you can see the sales report today invoice number and the medicine yes here the what was the product amount and what was the gain amount what was the total profit of me you can see here and here some as a action button the pdf will be opened the invoice pdf will be opened when we have click on the action button now let's go to the home let's go to the products Yes, here you can see a add new medicine products and you search for a medicine, search for a category, expiry date, status, 
add new medicine here you can see a many thing I, we can edit also we can edit also i will edit one edit one let's see what will happen i will edit as a work as or leave 52 i will edit edit medicine name category quantity 50 i will enter as unit Azure quantity 4 remaining quantity was 46 and selling price status available save and i will go to the home let's check leave 52 and this yes now you can enter i wanted to and yes you can see here the product has been added successfully now i will add a new medicine here you can see add a new medicine click on that pick your cursor put your cursor here barcode there you have some barcode yes medicine name i will get some mm, yeah, 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 yeah. and category baby 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 let's see and what was the quantity i have 100 quantity let's think what was that yeah sachet register date pick a register date today and expiry date after a month i will select and any remark uh, we will tell better usage and what is what was the actual actual price because here when you have getting an invoice there you have seen in a profit because you have entered an actual price i will tell a 300 and a selling price as let's i will give any 120 let's see what will happen yes here it was showing that minus 60 percent now i will enter 320s and save the product has been added and one was the notification uh, yes medicine going to expire you can see here medicine going to expire expire before one month the expiration notification has been detected now previously i have added one product now i will add another product which i have added yes i will select i will select a two quantity add and total amount was 2040 here you can cancel the product i will cancel a first one what i have added yes the product has been directly cancelled submit again asking the paid amount relate to the 700 the customer has been paid here the invoice has been immediately displayed submit and make a new sale and another thing here you can see the what sales happened 1140 and you can see a sales report 1140 total profit was 140 and again here there as a backup local load says backup successfully the amount the sales what happened that will be backed up successfully today we are seeing about the pharmacy management system by this you can understand the online thing made easier nowadays where we can see a, a pharmacy expiry date giving a notification and quantity how much quantity has been available and 
what is the selling price and what is the pri private uh, product price uh, many more things such as like we can add a new product which has been today delivered etc and thank you for watching this video for any further information you may contact the below link mifrotech.com i will mention and thank you for watching this video